doing a quick review of the Black Horse um, chrome bed bars. This is the RB001SS, which uh, probably stands for stainless steel. Uh, a hard time finding any information on the uh, internet on this, so I figured I'd do a quick review. That might help as well. But uh, this is on a 2010 F250 crew cab, and uh, it's one that um, I it's one of my work ones that one of my employees drives and um, I always do it up for him as kind of a bonus so uh, he was asking for some of these and these are the ones he liked so I just put them on and uh, just a quick review um, the installation was pretty easy um, just kind of the typical um, platform that you can see over on this side that uh, bolts to the inside of the bed and um, and then, of course, um, underneath the actual posts themselves, uh, the bolts come from the, the inside. And they've got the rubber jackets there around them, um, just as a little trim ring, I guess. Um, the neat thing about these that, that, that I thought, and uh, that he did too, is it has that fastback look, um, you know, that you see on some of the, the 4x4 trucks to where, uh, kind of like that, that old school, Chevy Avalanche look to it and uh, so really nice uh, fluid um, run to it and you can see it up there it's just a bit shorter than the truck I'll give the dimensions here at the end but uh, sets kind of nicely um, I have um, have it of course tied into the let's see to the brake lights up there I just put it in a just in a rubber cord um, the actual third brake light on this one is it's a little hazy, uh, needs to be polished out and actually came like that, so I wasn't too impressed with that, but uh, functional. Um, and uh, the only other thing that I really kind of had, had a little bit of an issue with is um, the actual chrome finish. Um, just in a couple spots, you can see right there and there. It's, uh, it's not smudges, that's just actually kind of unfinished chrome. Not super noticeable, but uh, nonetheless, just uh, could have been done a little better. Um, this piece here um, is actually optional. You could just leave it uh, hollow. Um, it's just, you can see from this side, it's just a piece of plastic um, that sits in there. And if you want to get creative with it, I think if it was on my truck, I'd probably put either some diamond plate backing or, or something. Um, uh, you know, do a black, that kind of thing. Um, if you wanted to really get creative, you could even light it up from the inside if you put, uh, if you put a, a little backing to it. But um, I'll give you the dimensions real quick. It is uh, from, from the top of the bed, this, this here to the very top of the roll bars, that is uh, 23 inches tall. And uh, then from the inside post, so either one of those from the inside over the inside there uh, i've got it mounted as 64 and a half inches and um, it stretches so it didn't come like that it was probably closer to say 62 something of that nature but uh, it did stretch a little bit it was about as far as i wanted to stretch it um, i did put some shims in there just because i didn't want to stretch it any further so those didn't come with it um, just just washers. I think I put uh, maybe three washers in between the mounting brackets and the, the bed itself. But uh, it did mount up well and it's it's nice and stable. Um, not real crazy about the bar running through the middle but uh, you know not the end of the world. Um, it probably probably needs that for stability I'm assuming. Um, but like I say a uh, nice look. Um, it is um, uh, the outside dimensions, if you need them that, the way it's mounted here, all the way to the bracket, to the, to the outside of the bracket on the left there, to the outside of the bracket on the right there, that is um, 72 inches, so a solid um, six feet. And then this measurement here, from here to the end of there, that's just 24 inches. So, so there it is. Um, yeah, it's really nice looking um, and, and I think the quality is good. The, the only thing I would say is I almost didn't order it because uh, the people at Black Horse, they don't return emails. They don't return 
uh, messages. Uh, I don't know if they're just that busy or what, but uh, I think part of the reason you never see them is because um, nobody can get a hold of them to buy them. But this one was, I think it was $550 shipped, and uh, it came through one of the one of the car companies that you know, one of the uh, internet parts companies. Um, and um, there it is. Hope you can kind of see all the, the details to it and everything. Like I say, nice ones. Uh, Black Horse, answer your calls, and I bet you'd sell a lot more of them. And I uh, hope this helps somebody out that's, that's uh, thinking of something like this.